Good morning. Does anyone know what today is? Well, of course you do. It's Father's Day, right? And today we want to thank God for our dads and we want to thank God for all the men in our lives. We also want to thank God for all the things that dads do for us. So I brought some things today to remind us of just some of the things that dads do. First, I brought some money. It reminds us that dads and moms go out to work and they earn money. And that way they can, they can buy a home for us. They buy clothes for us. They buy groceries for us. And you guys especially like it when they buy toys and games for you. I also brought a hammer and a wrench. Some dads are really good at fixing things. They fix things around your home. But maybe they also fix things for their job. Maybe they're a carpenter or maybe they're a mechanic. And they do that all the time. But not every dad's good at fixing things. Some dads are better at things like math. So they're really good with a calculator. Maybe they're a banker or maybe they're an accountant. Other dads are, are really good with computers. So maybe they use a computer all the time in their work or they teach you how to use a computer or how to do math. Some dads really love to read. Uh, this is a children's Bible. So maybe your dad reads to you uh, from the Bible or a children's Bible, or maybe he reads a children's book to you, or maybe he just teaches you uh, how to read. Other dads love to be outdoors and they're into sports. So I brought a softball mitt and also a basketball. Maybe your dad teaches you how to throw a ball or throw just throws ball with you for fun or you shoot hoops together. Other dads are, are into things like cars. So I brought a replica of a 56 Ford pickup. This is just like a truck that my dad had. It's red and everything, just like the one he had. And he always loved this truck. He said it was his favorite truck ever. So my dad taught me some things about cars and, and he taught me to love old cars, just like he did. But you know what? Dads and moms also use cars and trucks every day to take us places. I mean, they're always taking you places like to school and to dance practice or soccer practice or to the store or to a restaurant. And this time of the year, uh, they're taking you on vacations. There are so many other things that dads do. Some dads are good cooks. Well, or at least they do a really good hamburger on the grill. Or they mow the yard or the garden. Dads do a lot of things for us. And it's not just dads. Grandfathers and uncles and brothers do a lot for us. Some of us have teachers and coaches that are men, and they've done a lot of great things for us. So let's give thanks for all men today. And did you know God is a father to us? The Bible calls God our heavenly father. Jesus even gave us a special name for God. He gave us the name Abba which means daddy. You know what? I was blessed to have a really good dad, but he wasn't perfect. I'm a dad myself, but I'm not perfect. But our heavenly father, God is perfect. He's the best dad ever. So we also want to give thanks for him today and every day. Let's pray together and thank God for our dads and our granddads and all the special men in our lives. And of course, Let's thank God for being our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for dads and granddads and uncles and brothers and all the special men in our lives. Thank you for all the ways they take care of us. We also thank you, God, for you are our Heavenly Father and you take extra good care of us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if your dads are there with you today, thank them. Give them a big hug. And while you're at it, take some time to thank God for being your heavenly father. Have a great Father's Day. Take care. Have a great week. Bye now.